Hi everyone. Well, it is National Men's Health Week and we thought it was a great time to catch up with five of our great male leaders in the great sport we play of bowls. And we do so all this week, courtesy of Stockland Retirement Living. It's your place. And uh, what better way to start than first up with the Bowls Australia CEO, Neil Dalrymple. How are you, Neil? Good, thanks, Clive. How are you? Yeah, very well, mate. Uh, Men's Health Week. Um, just why is it important to have uh, a focused Men's Health Week? Look, I think it's uh, it's a great conversation starter, uh, and for for I suppose to lift the uh, the importance of keeping an eye on not only yourself but uh, your, your friends around both uh, a physical and the mental health side of things. I think it's become more prevalent in society these days. Um, we are looking out for each other more often. And uh, I suppose you know, we can't underestimate the importance of obviously being physically active and the impacts that has on your, on your health. But then of course, it's the mental health side of things, particularly in this period where we've been in some, some isolation to, to a degree. Fortunately, things are opening up a bit now. So it's probably a great time to have the conversation. Yeah, certainly, you know, the, the, the general pressures of, of living in society have certainly been focused in the last uh, few weeks, haven't they? So yeah. uh, the opportunity now as things back, open back up to, to get out there and get a bit more physical, catch up with mates, important. Yeah, absolutely. Connections are important. I mean, it can, I think particularly with technology these days and the reliance and people spending so much time like we are now on screens and, um, and in our day-to-day -day lives, it's... Uh, it can be a bit lonely for some people and, uh, and, and reaching out and asking people if they're okay and, and sending messages or picking up the phone and calling and then you know, getting face to face clearly is so important and just ha to have a conversation, have a chat, catch up, talk about the footy, whatever it is and uh, talk about bowls, uh, get together, have a roll up. Uh, these are all things that I think men probably need to do a bit more effectively. Mm. And of course, one of the backbones of our sport are our great clubs. And uh, in this time, clubs have also been challenged in keeping engaged with their members and so forth. Um, and now with the opportunity to get back to our clubs, you know, the, the, uh, the, chan the, the opportunities out there are there, aren't they? For sure. And I think if it's not you know, men and women, we're all, I'm sure, are all busting to get back down to their bowls club. I mean, bowls is such a great social game a social sport whereby um you're doing something physical uh, there's the socialization aspect uh the the banter the the opportunity to even talk while you're playing bowls and start conversations and ask about how people are going how their family are uh it's it's a perfect uh, leveler and an op a great opportunity for, for for that to occur in a, in an environment which is obviously generally safe and and uh, and friendly, so uh, yeah, bowls clubs do play. Um, I think we underestimate the importance of what bowls does for the community in terms of that connection. And uh, yeah, hopefully, as as you say, Clive, um, moving out of isolation back onto the bowling green. What a fabulous time to start these conversations around, particularly around Men's Health Week and the importance of men's health. And um, we know that many people suffer in isolation and what better time to reach out in, 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 at this time. Such a natural way to have those conversations, isn't it? Without anyone feeling forced in any way. Yeah, no, for sure. And I think, yeah, it's... Um, Look, I think traditionally, as we know, and I'm sure the research supports it, that men, are, they have difficulty sometimes having these conversations. Perhaps um, uh, women have a, a bit more at ease with those conversations. And um, yeah, now it's, um, I think it takes leaders and it takes people within bowls clubs to, to create that environment so people can come together. So, um, so I look forward to bowls returning, you know, with, things are opening up as we know, and um, hopefully the bowls clubs are taking the lead in this area. And of course, uh, if you're lucky enough to be in a uh, Stockland retirement village, you've got the opportunity, you may even have the opportunity to just go straight outside the front door and, uh, and have a bit of a, uh, a sample of the bowling greens in many of those yeah. uh, facilities. Absolutely. And the, some of those facilities are fantastic that Stockland offer. I think that's the beauty of Bowls Clive is that it's so accessible. I mean, in those villages that you're talking about, I've been to a number of those villages. They're just located beautifully and uh, it's fantastic to be able to get outside and get, get the fresh air and, and have a bowl. And, and most of our clubs are you know, really well located. People live close to the, 
the club. So uh, the opportunity is to get down to the club and, and catch up with old friends. Best of both worlds, no doubt. Uh, to to our viewers that are thinking about making a change, whether that's towards their their mental well being, their physical well being, whether it's being you know where they live. Um, what do you say to those people? Look, I, I say if if you are struggling and. Um, you're looking for some uh, company or someone to talk to. I mean, I think reach out, uh, get on the phone and have a chat to someone, try and organise to get together face to face. Uh, I think this is where, you know, the bowls community is, is very good. And, and there's opportunities within club network, uh, that friends that you've made. If you feel you're struggling a little bit now, then now's a great time for, for to reach out to a friend at the bowls club and, and have a chat and just tell people how you feel. And, and I think more, Importantly, too, is uh, physically, like just get out and do some exercise. And I think, you know, this for me personally, uh, it's been a great opportunity for me to go out walking pretty much every day, something that I probably should have been doing more of. So uh, mentally, physically, I'm feeling quite refreshed. So, um, but obviously, you know, it's a, it's, I'm, I'm in a busy job and uh, it's important to have, have good balance. I suppose that's, for me, that's one of probably the, the best lessons that I've learned is just having good balance around everything that you do. Isn't it interesting with just going out on some of those walks? Uh, I've been doing a bit riding my bike and so forth. It's just as simple as saying hello to people as you're going past yeah. and just brightens people's day. I think I mean, I live in the metropolitan area and um, I mean, people generally <laughs> stick to themselves. They look either down or to the side and not at each other. But I think yeah, you, I do sense that there's certainly much more connection amongst people during this time. I think it happens probably more so in regional communities and, and country areas, so uh, which is part of life and people know each other. But yeah, certainly, I think there's certainly much more community spirit. So hopefully that can continue uh, for a long time. All right, thanks very much for that, Neil. And uh, join us again tomorrow, where we're going to catch up with Aaron Sheriff, one of the legends of our sport. Can't wait to, uh, to catch up with him. And it's all for Men's Health Week. Thanks to Stockland Retirement Living, it's your place. 